All right, welcome back to our next installment of Active Directory. So here's what we've done so far. We have our switch, we have our two AD servers, and now our next step is we're going to stand up a Windows 10 machine. So a Win 10. There we go, our workstation. Again, now this can be set up slightly, this is gonna be set up slightly different, easier steps. So essentially here, we had to come up with static IPs. These could be DHCP'd, could be static. It doesn't matter. Um, but we do have to do two things. Again, we still have to fix the name and create its fully its full name. And yes, I spelled name up here wrong. Thanks for noticing. All right, so let's dive into this. Okay, we got our Windows 10 machine. And let's bring it up. All right. All right, my machine's now getting a little more slower because now I have multiple machines running on this machine. So I have the two servers still running. So the next thing we want to do is go into our control panel, go into our settings, and click on about. And then we're going to do two things. So we're not going to click fix the computer name because, yes, we want to do that. But we're going to go right here to System, Advanced Settings, or Rename This PC. Either way, these tabs take you to these tabs here. So just in case you weren't aware of that. So here, we're going to go ahead and um, go in here and change its name. So here, we're going to call it... Uh, so we're going to call it... Uh, W for Windows, and then we're going to give it the asset tag. So, now there's our asset tag, however, our organization came up with that. And then again, I'm going to put a little B for virtual, so this way I know this is a virtual Windows 10, so a physical Windows 10. And then we're going to click more. And this is going to add the DNS suffix. So we're going to put in lu.local and hit OK. So then we're going to put in our domain name that we created. And now there is its full name. There's its name. There's its first and last name. So we could, we, then we're going to need the reboot. And then we're going to go back to the same spot and then click join the domain. So here we go. We're going to like this first take effect and hit restart. So this is a pretty easy little step. All right. All right. From here, we're going to go into our control panel again. And then we're going to go to system. About. Rename this device, and then if everything worked correctly, we're going to go to change and put in domain. Dot local. And then if it finds the domain like it did, now it's going to prompt us again. We're going to use our domain admin credentials. So there we go. So if everything works correctly, we got the welcome to the domain. Now it's going to restart. And there we go. So now that's restarting. So now I can log in as still, I can log in as my old self, Lou. Or I can go to other and see now it says signing into this domain. So now I can just go ahead and put in my admin credentials because I have not created any other accounts so far. 
And there we go. So now this is creating for the first time because this is the first time logging in. Pretty sweet. So there we go. That's how easy it is to join a domain. And now let's go ahead and log into our other domain. And now let's go ahead and go back into, so I'm in our second server, I think. And now we go to computers. There's the workstation. So there we go. We successfully have it joined because now we can see it in here. And I can log in with my domain account that I have. So like an example here under users, there is the domain admin account that I created. So there you go. That's a quick little run through rundown on how to join a Windows workstation to a domain. All right, catch you in the next part of this series.